Yo, hey, what's up, y'all? It's the Skate Thirst. Um, today I'm going over Leo Baker's new part. Also dropped a shoe. Um, yeah, he dropped a Nike shoe part. And at first I was a little confused because I was watching the part like, I mean, I, I fuck with it. The part's really good. I thought the style was perfect, but I was thinking in my head like, man, Uto just dropped his Nike part. And I mean, they're just like different levels. And skating's not a competition, especially street skating. You're just kind of doing your own thing. So I was a little confused about that. I didn't know that uh, Leo was had had transitioned. So he was on Nike before the transition. So they kept him on. I thought that was pretty cool, honestly. If, if from Nike's perspective, I think it's the respectable thing to do. You know, you fuck with the person. They uh, feel like they're identity isn't matching with their outward appearance and they want to change it i think the the moral thing to do personally support them in any way you can so um with that being out of the way i'm gonna enjoy the part i'm not here to bash anybody or anything like that i wanted to look at the shoe real quick i think the shoe is great um yeah definitely uh a hard shoe i'm into the uh you know like boot looking shoes this almost looks like you'll work in it. I know you can't work in it. But uh, yeah, just a clean brown. I, I mean, I like them a lot. I don't like the shape of the shoe, but the color. I just don't like. I'm so sick of them putting high or really low laces on everything. Like, they're skate shoes. These shoes are going to get toasted. Um, The white ones, I don't really like as much, but. The brown ones I thought looked pretty hard. The color scheme was nice. But anyways, dropped the video part up today. I didn't know I was so quick on it. So yeah, this is Leo. A lot of smiles. Happy dude. And that was a, a pretty clean pop-out, I must say. I seen a Tony from the Tony... Tony Perks experience doing switchboard pop outs the other day. I thought I can't even, I've never tried a pop out, so maybe I could do it. But they are a trick that they did, they just look mysterious. I feel like if I were to try it, I'd want to be like kind of coming off and then just kind of push, you know. Yeah, I think he has a really sick style and, um, I'll watch post op to another part from them. Him. That was a clean. Clean Smith. Yeah, you, you can see why I was confused though at first. That was a sick tail, too. Because a shoe is. Man, nice, nice style. A shoe is like the pinnacle of skating as far as like sponsorship go, you know. Like anybody can have a board nowadays, but not everybody can have a shoe. And especially not on Nike. But like what I like most about his style is just so much board control. Go back to that. See, that, that would be an easier trick to like go to fakie or... Going to nose off of that is just strange because you're, I don't know, it's like you're popping back to your nose. It's just hard. Clean, clean style. Nice pop. Like, I've, I've seen some hate. Not a ton or anything, but I think it's uncalled for. That's, <laughs> come on, dude. Come on. I, I don't mean to compare it to Yuto. It's just like the most recent Nike SB part. They're totally different styles, so it's not even fair to compare them. I just realized that. Um, yeah, that trick was nasty, though. Yeah, that's a sick trick. I love um, seeing people slide on a ledge and then have to pop over something. I saw Louie do it the other day. Some type of ledge. And then he had to pop over a rail or a trash can or something. I thought it was cool. 
nice blunt clean style yeah that's what really stood out to me about his part like everything just seemed like he was so crispy love those not to do them i can't do them i love seeing them Ooh, ooh, going alley oop out of that that's hard i like any type of slide where you go out the less obvious way alley oop i've always heard it called so for them to go that way out i mean that's just like a completely different trick than going the other way the other way the other way the um on nose slides it's almost like the friction will help you spin forward going the other way is just hard like to spin out you can just you know hold it a little harder you'll probably stick a little and it'll it'll get you going you know what i mean That was clean too. I'm I'm very impressed by Pop Shove It nose manuals. That being said, whenever I see it like a Pop Shove It manual, any honestly any manual where they only pop or 180 out, it's a little less cool than if they flip, because you just know. It's a lot easier to shove out than it is to flip out, that's for sure. I went to the park the other day thinking, like, I'm going to gnarly tray out of a nose manual. I got there and I was like, oh, yeah, I, I forgot I'm not good. <laughs> oh, that was hard. Oh, that was sick. That was, like, sketchy but sick. Did you think they meant to land back on the, uh, like, back on the ledge? <laughs> like this? That's really strange. That was cool. Is that the ender? I wasn't paying enough attention for it to be the ender. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Yeah, that's sick. So, yeah, I like the part. Um, You know, not like an all-time part for me or anything like that. But definitely a very fun little part. I, I wish people would put out more stuff like um Shane O'Neill, for example. If he wanted to put out a little part of him goofing off, like I'm watching it. I don't care what type of job I don't need to see that. I don't care what type of parts <laughs> you know what I mean? Why'd they even zoom in on that? Hey, look at my sweaty ass. <laughs> Who wants to see that shit, man? See, I'm going to find another part by them real quick. Should take but a second. Post-op. I watched a little bit of this trying to do um, <laughs> research. Y'all know how I am. But just to get a little more, you know, character type of thing. See what's going on. And it wasn't until I looked this up that I knew, uh, you know, the name of it. That's kind of hard, honestly. It's cool to just address it. Name your part after that. That's cool. A switch? Switch heel? <sighs> Clean, dude. Like... I think it, it actually stood out to me. The style stood out to me more in this part. I only watched a little bit of it. Everything is like bolts like I feel like if you skated with him you would you would see that he's very particular, you know. There's always those skaters like they landed the trick ten times, you're like, bro, you you done got it. <laughs> and he's like, nah, it's gotta be cleaner. Does it another thirty times. That's all he does the whole time he's at the skate park. That's the type of guy he seems like. Ugh, dirty bag, man. Clean. Okay. That's the second B-roll clip of you laying down. 
very comfortable. I don't want to see you slacking on the job. That's like saying, hey, boss, man, I'm not doing any work. Hey, what are you faking sleep? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is he doing? That's funny. He didn't look happy. Like, he looked kind of mad that, that he was asleep. Check your homeboy. That was clean. Kick flip tail. I stopped saying back tail or front tail or, or things like that. People keep correcting me. Like, I know the trick, but sometimes I get it wrong in the moment, you know? Nice. No slide heel out. Oh, I'm loving the uh, upstairs type of thing. Wherever he's from, seems like he has a hell of spots, bro. Like, the, the nicest spot. To me, a spot, you know, just a ledge is cool. A little, something, something not too big. That's actually great height. All of these ledges are like really exactly what I like to see in a skate video. Clean. He's really good um, at the half cab to manuals. He did the half cab heel to nose manual earlier. Oh man, I always, uh, one, oh, I just kicked something. So I gotta clean my room for real, my closet that I, I'm in the back of a U-Haul truck. This is all I can find to film it. Um, I love seeing foot adjustments while they're manually. When I went to my park the other day thinking like, I'm gonna nollie flip out of something, nose manual, I realized how short the manual pad is for the first time. Because I never really try to flip out of it. I just kind of goof off. And I'm like, man, it's like you have to land perfect with your setup. I wish it was a little bit longer. It seems like every spot around here is like there's something little about like I wish that was a little shorter. I wish this was taller. The manual pad, too, I was talking to somebody. I love. It's like too high but too low. It's <laughs> Like that ledge is higher than the manual pad, but the manual pad is higher than a regular manual pad. They slow mode the shit out of that trick, so I gotta see it again. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I like those weird types of... <laughs> Some of these B-rolls, like, I think that was a fall, but when you don't include the fall, you just got this dude doing that, like... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Yo, I did not expect that. Yeah, that was hard. Wait a second. So that was fakey? Fakey to switch 5-0 or fakey nose grind, as some people would say. I would call it a fakey ollie switch 5-0. Um, to switch manual. That's hard. Switch manuals are crazy. Gotta show the love. Yeah, what'd y'all think of Leo Baker's parts? I fuck with him, dude. He's cool. I think he makes really good videos, like chill little videos. Maybe not the buckest in the room, but I just like to see the spots. And uh, I thought the shoe was hard, so let me know in the comments what you thought of these. Tell me what you think.